What is going on everybody? It's Mr. Uzi here and today we are taking a look at Apple Music for the PC. Now the Android client is not out yet. The app is still under development according to Apple. Uh, iOS does have their client launched on iOS 8.4. It is included in that update. And then we have iTunes 12.2 and succeeding updates to iTunes will have uh, Apple Music built into it. Now if you're looking right now my music library doesn't really have a whole lot in it and that's because I don't really use Apple Music or iTunes as my primary music service really because I don't really have any Apple devices um, so yeah there's that but first off when you first sign up for your free three month trial it'll ask you if you don't have billing information all that stuff whatever that's different but when you first get dropped in it'll ask you oh what kind of music do you like I believe it says something like double click for things you love and single click for things that you like and from there it'll kind of start to get to know what kind of music that you want now i've already done that and along with the next one it'll give you uh the same thing to do for artists that you may like based on those genres that you gave them previously now let's go into for you this is the page that you would get after you've kind of selected your genre likes and the artists that you like to listen to and it'll give you a page of maybe things artists albums songs that you may want to listen to based on what you've given them this is kind of their curated they said a lot of this was uh done by hand by humans but then there's some of it that was actually done by computers and algorithms and all that that jazz um now i do have some of these albums particularly the ones from kanye west i have all of these albums um and i have songs from these albums down below these be nice that i recognize anyway uh, i have songs from these albums various albums um and that's the for you page now if we go up to the next tab up at the top we have new which is basically what it sounds like it's a bunch of new stuff whether it's uh, music videos or albums or songs or hot new songs or whatever of course taylor swift is on the front page if you didn't hear what she did she actually made apple pay artists for the free three month trial uh, because originally they were not going to do so so we have all of our new music here pick up any of these albums again uh not really sure about exclusivity uh, of these albums i know for a fact eminem's curtain call can be bought anywhere now i guess it would be uh, in your best interest if you do have an apple device to do uh, your music shopping from here because it's all you know pretty well integrated but again i'm not really seeing anything that's going to make me want to move over from a different streaming service or other music platform to apple music now continuing on we have radio it's branded beats one radio and basically you get all these different uh genres of music that you can listen to and you can tune in at any time so maybe you're not looking for a particular song but you're looking for a particular type of music you can definitely tune into any one of these and start listening it's 24 7 it's probably not going to have any ads because this is a paid service you're paying for no ads uh so all of your music that you just want to listen to without having to pick specific artists or songs or albums or anything all curated for these different genres and that's pretty much what you get with beats one radio and the beats branding is still alive inside of apple even though they kind of hush hush everything else that was beats branded uh, and then finally we have the connect page now if you remember back at the beginning i talked about where you chose artists uh, that you liked well when you go to the connect page for the first time you'll also get another uh, list of artists or kind of artists to choose from to kind of follow as sort of a social media uh, outlet so that's what this connect page is when you first go to it as you can see neil was one of the artists that i chose that i do like and i think this is actually pulling from his twitter page and it's giving you kind of a curated feed of artists that you like making sure you have updates from them I don't know how popular this is going to be because you can just follow them on Twitter, uh, but it also gives you information about their music if, say, you wanted to purchase their new single or, say, they released a new album, things of that sort, you would get all this information inside of the Apple Music app built into iTunes, and then this is going to be the same across the different platforms. It may look a little bit different depending on which uh, device you're using it from. For the most part, you're going to see a very similar experience. Now. Will I even use this? Personally, I did not see anything that's going to make me want to use this more so than any other music streaming service, unless they come out with some exclusive music from artists that I like that I can only get on Apple Music. I'm not really gonna see myself jumping ship from Google Play Music or people who are using Spotify as their main platform. 
I don't see a whole lot that's gravitating people towards Apple Music other than the fact that it is well integrated with all of Apple's devices and software. Uh, that's my own opinion. You may have your own opinion. Leave it down below in the comments. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you dislike it, hit the thumbs down button. Also leave down in the comments below what music streaming service you currently use. Um, I currently use Google Play Music and Amazon. I can never get the name right. I think it's Amazon's uh, Amazon Prime Music uh, because I do have an Amazon Prime subscription and it kind of just comes bundled with it. So it's like, why not use it kind of thing. Um, but yeah, leave that down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm glad I can do screen recordings like this. This is the third option uh, when I was trying to make this video. So I'm glad this one seems to have worked out. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.